Hello everyone, this is Joni from Timeshare Sales Mastery. It is the first of the month and there is such awesomeness that comes with the first of the month. First of all, whether you had an incredible month or a complete flop, guess what? We can let it go, right? We can let it go and know that this is a brand new month. So here's what that means. What that means is, is that you have full power and full control to create your month like you want. Might not be the month that you had, but it could be your best month yet. So there's so much power in the first of the month. We release all this tension, we release all this stress of, you know, the last few days of the month or the last week or two where we're just sometimes start, if we're not on a roll, we start feeling all that anxiety and all that stress and it really does stand in the way, it blocks us of achieving that level of success that we so know we're capable of achieving. Like when you're on a roll and you're unstoppable, right? So it's the first of the month. Do you have a plan going into this month? If you don't have a solid plan, you need to get one or I guarantee you're not going to have a good month. You're going to fail. And I hate to say that, but not having a plan means that you don't know what you're trying to achieve. So here's what you need to do. You need to create your goals. You need to write down your goals. Actually put pen to paper and write down your goals today, the first of the month. Okay. And if you're watching this on any other day of the month, which is very likely, you can still do the exact same thing for the remaining days of the month if you hadn't done it yet. So put pen to paper. I want you to always state, you always state your goals in the present tense now as opposed to I will in the future. And there's a very particular reason why we do this and it is because the subconscious mind, the unconscious mind, does when we put things out into the future, it will continue to put it out into the future just like that. So we, we're postponing our success, we're postponing those results. And that's the biggest mistake people make is they don't write their goals in the present tense. So always write your goals in the present tense and always write your goals in a positive form. So your goals must be positive. They must be in the present tense. I, Joni Dillon, am in the process of writing or I, jo Joni Dillon, am writing. Um, sorry, getting pulled. <laughs> um, $100,000, whatever you want to call it, $200,000, $300,000 this month or more. I always write or more so we don't limit ourselves by the 30th or 31st of the month, whatever month it is, okay, of the date, the year, excuse me. And um, and so you always state your goals positive with an end date in mind and do the amount plus more um, to really make that happen. All right, guys, so super, super, super important when you are writing goals to really keep those things in mind and to always, 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 whether it's a weekend or a week that you're going into, whatever that is, Diego, <laughs> to really have a goal for that weekend, a goal for that week to really hit your overall objective and your goal. And I always want you to look at your goals as what is a commitment. What am I committing to? And one last thing, guys, if you have not picked up your copy of my new ebook, you definitely want to do that. It is at freegift.timesharesalesmastery.com or in the click on the link in the description here. I go through some awesome goal setting strategies that totally changed my results forever and allowed me to always hit my goal without fail for years. And I know you will just love it. Have an awesome, amazing day. Get out there. Be unstoppable. This is Joni from Timeshare Sales. Mastery. Peace.